All right, guys, we are back in the shop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how the thermostat housing works here. So basically, here, first of all, is your thermostat sensor input. So in this case, this is an old, old, old little piece of copper. And this is the cable that goes up to your temperature gauge. Um, some tractors have a bigger thread in here, so the new thermo thermometer or sensor comes with two different type of threads. So you can choose which one you want to have on there. So we're gonna um, assemble this here and put this together today. So I cleaned this all up real nice. As you can see, um, no more old gaskets on there, nothing. So how this works is this will go like this on the front of the cylinder head. And then um, yeah. And this piece, this piece sits on top here like like so. So this goes to the top of the radiator. This goes to your water pump. And then there's the port back here that goes to the cylinder head. So up here is where your thermostat sits. I've made another video already where I showed the old one like this. Quite the cool thing. Um, I don't know if you can read it. And it says on there that it's opening temperature is 80 Celsius. Now we have this new one here, it's a lot smaller and it's saying 82 Celsius or 180 Fahrenheit. So that's still fine. So that thing is gonna sit right in here as like this, okay? And then we're gonna have a gasket like this one. Now the, therm the thermometer or the thermostat didn't come with my rebuild kit. So I bought one at the local dealership and the gasket that came with it wasn't exactly the greatest. It's very thin cardboard. So I'm gonna be putting this one in that's a little bit better. And that's gonna go right on top here. Uh, like so. And then we just have to put this piece on here and bolt it down. Now, I'm gonna be putting some silicone in here anyways, because I like doing that. And I'll just check here. Yeah, this is good. So I'll put some silicone on here, and then we'll get this thing going, put it together. The nuts are right here, the washers are here too, perfect. So we'll put a little bit on this gasket here. See how the scales sit in here. Almost. And here we go. Okay, so we got the first part settled there. Make sure we clean this all up so it's good later on. Now Put some more of this thing on here. Don't need a whole lot actually here. So like you can see, I cleaned this up real nice so that we don't have any old gasket left on there. And this was all pressure washed through, so we have for sure 
water going through here. So now I'm gonna double check that we get this all right here. Okay. Let's see if it says anything else here. seals underneath here yeah that would have been fine yeah that's all good Let's settle that in here again slide that on here and then Put that on, bolt that down, and then we'll be good to go.